Now, I'm not saying your computer's bad, but if you click this video, you're clearly wondering how to make your Minecraft worlds lag a little bit less. And uh, there is a solution for you that doesn't involve spending money on new computer parts. And I'm going to tell you about it right now. What's going on, guys? Zip here, and welcome to a very simple trick that you can add to any Minecraft 1.9 worlds that will allow you to pre-generate the world and reduce lag significantly. This is especially useful if you're trying to just preload a world to explore in. Maybe you're a server owner and you want to host a UHC and you don't want any block lag to be affecting any of the competitors. Or you just feel like pre gen in some of your world. Well, it's simple enough. Big thank you to Mr. Brian. Lorgon111 for this awesome command. It's simple enough. All you're going to do is TP to zero. 250. Zero. That's going to take you to basically the center of your world. Now, wherever you drop on the ground, the next step is going to be like give yourself a command block. Slash gif. Oop, accidentally pressed my Windows key slash gif. At PCLMM. Press tab on your keyboard. Press enter on your keyboard. Now, there is technically a little bit of an issue here. We are above water. If you happen to be in an area where there is no air right above your 0, 250, and 0, and there's water and stuff, simple enough. Slash set block. Tilde. It's pretty much the top left key under the escape. Tilde. Tilde. Just type stone. Not stom. Stone. Place the command block on top there. In the description of this video will be a link to Mr. Logan's channel, which will take you to a paste bin that will contain this command, which you'll paste in. Did I not? Oh, I had a copy. I'm worse guy. Okay, much better. And then just click this. Always active. What that's going to do is spawn in the smallest of contraptions into your world. You can now get rid of this. <laughs> had to switch modes. And now you have a little bit of a pop-up that appeared here. AFK World Generator for Minecraft 1.9 by Dr. Brian. Lorgon 111. Link to his channel. Bada boom, bada bing. Click it. All that good stuff. Important note! Before I go any further, I need to stress to you guys. You need to make sure your render distance is set to 8 chunks before you run this contraption. That is the chunk distance that the, the machine was like designed around. So, if you want to have a good time, like I'm about to break in all this sand. Oh, okay. Well, I thought maybe it would do Shoot, wow, this is a cool looking cave. Just run it at eight chunks, okay? Back to the video. One command contraption only works in place near zero zero, which we're currently at. To start, run this command. Scoreboard, players. You can press tab to complete this. Set at A, running one. This will essentially run a command that will slowly teleport you. Look at, look at our different, do you see? I want you to look right here. What it's currently doing is slowly moving us to different little increments of the world. And what this is actually doing is running the game so that it is loading all the chunks near the contraption. See, we're going to try and keep track. We're not moving naturally at all. The command blocks over there are moving for us. And you can see it is just slowly loading all the chunks. Now, what you're encouraged to do is look straight up so that you cause the least amount of lag to yourself as that is still going to be loading the chunks in whenever you move around. And then simply run the command until you don't want until you don't need it anymore. Now, the completed so far radius over here shows you how many like chunks you've loaded in. In this case, we've got 100 radius. So 100 blog radius loaded in. The ticks kind of determine how many cycles you've gone through. We're going to go ahead and stop at, I don't know. We're going to basically just leave this for 15 minutes. Come back in 15 minutes. You literally run this AFK, preferably while looking up so you don't see that lag. And then from there, it's simple enough. You just use some way to get out of your Minecraft menu, whether you open up your inventory, you open up your chat, and you just let this baby run for a little bit. Now, before we do that, I'm going to also explain to you that you can run this in the nether and in the end as well. The command works in the exact same way, except you once you place the contraption at 0, 250, 0 in your main world, then go to the end, then go to the nether, teleport yourself to the same blocks, then run this command. Now, when you're finished running the command and you've loaded up enough of your world, you would just run the same command except you change the 1 to a 0. So, that said, this does not work nearly as well because we have loaded in a pre generator So I'm going to load in a fresh new world. You're going to see it loaded right before your very eyes. You ready for this? Lorgon machine. That's what we're going to call it. So we're going to create up this world. We're going to do the exact same steps. We're going to teleport ourselves to 0, 250, 0. We're going to run this command. And then we're going to just let this baby go AFK for the smallest amount of time. And once it has done that, we're going to come back. Oh my goodness, more water. It's always water. I'll tell you what. Set block. <laughs> Again, extra step. Stone. 
I can never type stone right. Place this down, place in the command, always active, boom. Now, we're gonna run it one more time, and I will see you guys in about 15 minutes. Oh, I just switched what world because I didn't want to load up an ocean because that's super easy to load anyways. Okay, now if you look at the X coordinate, you can see we're at minus 700, minus 800, minus 900, and yada, yada, yada. And you'll notice on the radius completed so far, we are at a current radius completed so far of 900, and that will be updating to 1000 very soon, which would imply that in all directions from 0, 0 and onwards, we have loaded all chunks from negative 1,000, negative 1,000, up to positive 1,000, positive 1,000. So when that is done, you will run this command again, instead switching the one to the zero. So once the radius has completed to 1,000, we will resume. And we have just hit 1,000. So now we'll go ahead and run this to zero. And that will teleport us right back to our zero, zero spot. It will delete the contraption and it will switch us back into creative mode. And now if you look around and you start to travel about this and that, you'll see that all land around you within a 1000 by 1000 positive and a 1000 by 1000 negative, all land involved has prin has Bryn has been pre-generated. So there's not going to be any more block lag when you're trying to travel through chunks. It's all going to be taken care of. This is also a way for you to technically use horses in the new snapshot as horses have a current snapshot glitch where they won't load in land chunks. So if you don't have any land chunks loaded and you're on a horse, it will continue to not load. But as you can see, it's all loaded in. Land has been pre-generated. Now again, as I said in that little tidbit before, cannot stress enough that it is important that you load this baby and you run it when you have a render distance set to eight chunks. That is what the command is optimized for. So if you have any issues, check to make sure your chunk settings are proper. Check to make sure you place the command in at the proper spot as well. And if you are running this in the nether in the end, make sure you have placed yourself at the zero, zero point before you run the command, which will work as long as you've placed in the overworld and you're within your set world spot. So big thank you to Mr. Lorgon111 for this awesome contraption. Hopefully it fixes lag for some of you guys. If it does, you should tell your friends about it. It's very useful. Please do drop a like right on the video if you enjoyed and you learned something from this or, you know, it helped your computer out. Be much appreciated. Again, thank you, Mr. Lorgon. Check out his channel in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see these videos right as they come out. <laughs> Have a great day. Enjoy your lag-free Minecraft. And we'll see you later.